grandpa used to say, if it didn't hurt, you didn't put the work in. Of course, I didn't truly understand what he meant back then. But over the years, I've learned that if you truly want something, it doesn't matter how hard or how scary it is, how far you need to go or how tired it will make you. You will find a way. My grandpa was a wise man. And my goal for today was to complete a 5,000 feet mountain hike in a burning heat while enjoying the whole experience. Hello everyone, welcome back to Top Ranking Club. I'm Natalka and today I'll be taking you on a hike and I will tell you a little bit more about how hard it is or easy it is. <laughs> is it actually nice? Well, stay tuned for that because uh, it's going to be one interesting journey. Guys, guess where? Guess where we're going? Blue Mountain! Along the way there will be lots of information about Blue Mountain, what's happening there. I, I'm super excited, so let me take you on this adventure. Before we start, I would like to say a massive thank you to all of you who have subscribed to Top Ranking Club already and left a like or a comment. It really means so much to me. And if it's your first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing if, like me, you are also searching for your happy place. Our journey started very early. After all, we had a bit of a drive to get to Blue Mountains. The drive itself was very pleasant, as we were cruising right by the sea most of the time. <laughs> the bus is full. <laughs> Whether you book your excursion through the resort or a travel agent, you will most likely make a few pit stops along the way to pick up the remaining passengers or just to stretch your legs. Okay, I need to say this, okay. On our way to Portland, last time, right, we took a random pit stop, we stopped just to take some fresh air. Now, as you know, today we are on our way to Blue Mountains and the driver said we're gonna have one pit stop. Guess what? Do you recognize this? He literally stopped in the same place we stopped last time. And guys, there was many, many, many different places we could have stopped, like millions. <laughs> we stopped at the same spot. In fact, um, right here, and then we, we, I think we stopped somewhere here. And then I was taking some videos over there and we were flying drone over there. So bizarre, so bizarre. I'm just trusting the journey and I'm just like listening out to the universe and I'm so amazed at, you know, how things work out. It's just crazy and I love it. So I'm very grateful to be here. It says coke on the bottle, but guys, we actually just stopped uh, by a uh, spring, fresh spring water, and so we're gonna try some the freshest water that I've probably tried in my life. Um, yeah, it's a Blue Mountain fresh water. So yeah, it's a coffee plantation over there. Today. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ladies will go and pick all the berries.
We arrived, guys. The ride up to the mountains is definitely something else. It's definitely an attraction in itself. It was beautiful, but super scary. Yeah. Um, but we're here now, so let me show you what this is all about. <laughs> all right. I think it was worth it though. So as soon as you guys are ready to try out your as we reached our destination, we quickly learned that this beautiful building was the main base for our excursion. This is where you'll be having your breakfast and lunch, which, by the way, is included in the tour. From what I'm understanding, the first thing will be breakfast um, and we'll be trying, we'll be tasting some Blue Mountain coffee. So this is how it goes guys. This is how the tour uh, starts. So if you book your tour to Blue Mountains, this is most likely what you will be able to experience now very important thing to mention uh, you've got options you can hike you can take a bus or you can uh, cycle um, and those are your options so it's up to you uh, whatever you feel like your uh, fitness levels are and um, I am not sure if we're gonna hike I don't think we're gonna bike um, or we just might take the bus uh, to the top. Either way, uh, I think it's gonna be an amazing experience. Here, I see it's a swing. Um, if you're brave enough <laughs> to swing over this beautiful view, um, yeah, I have a huge respect for you. Um, otherwise, I don't think I will be swinging there. <laughs> if you prefer a calm and scenic experience, you can take the bus all the way up. I had no idea this was even an option. And at first we thought that's exactly what we would do. I imagined hiking to be quite challenging. Even though we go on the regular walks in the forest, hiking up the mountain seemed a bit daunting. And for some reason, I thought if we were to choose biking, we would have to bike up the mountain. Only to find out halfway through the day that the guides actually take you up the hill by bus. So you can then slowly bike down with them. This has to be so much fun. So next time we will definitely try that. Today though, we decided to hike, which turned out to be the hardest of all choices, but also possibly the most rewarding. So this got me thinking, Blue Mountains excursion is really for anyone. Even with minimal physical ability, you can still enjoy it without hiking or biking. Just come for the beautiful nature, fresh air and a great cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here guys. Yeah, this is definitely a happy, happy place. Blue Mountains, come on. It's so peaceful, it's so tranquil. It's incredible. Jamaica has so many different sides to it. And this is just one of them. Guys, it's one of those views that you could just sit and watch for hours yeah 
with a drink in your hand, some good food, maybe a fan. <laughs> I'm joking. <sighs> and you know what? I want. Uh, I've, uh, this is my first time. This is my first time in Blue Mountains. I've been wanting to come here for ages. And it's always like, oh, next time, you know, it's far. It's, you know, the ride is bumpy. <laughs> and um, it is about three hours drive up here, guys. So um, you need to take that into consideration. But is it worth it? 100%. Just, just, to, just to see what I'm seeing right now, it's worth it. Just to have a coffee with this view, it's worth it. And guys, not only we were able to taste the world-class Blue Mountain coffee, but there was also a presentation about the bean roasting process. For all my fellow coffee lovers, this is actually really interesting. <laughs> all right, it started raining. All right. Very refreshing, huh? Keisha! Rain in Blue Mountains. Look at that peak over there. That's sunny over there. Rainy over here. There is a short bus ride to the hiking trek and I must say the ride was an adventure in itself due to the very narrow roads on the side of super steep hills. Funny enough JD loved it and most people on the bus found it entertaining. As for me guys I have a fear of heights with full-on anxiety and dizziness. So why am I even sharing this with you? Well because that day I realized something. Our fears can sometimes stop us from living our best lives. But today wasn't that day. You're loving the drive. Get back to lunch and after lunch here to the waterfall. And over here. We have Mr. Williams yeah, man. and we have um, Shaki. So these guys are taking care of you on the hiking trail today, right? Okay. Kimo, we're taking picture of you guys today. For the past couple of years, I've been on a mission to conquer some of my fears. And let me tell you, it's been one hell of a ride. I've been trying new things and really pushing my boundaries. It's incredible how liberating it feels to challenge those nagging self-doubts and just do it anyway. You see, if I hadn't faced my fears, I would have not come to Blue Mountains today. I would have worried about my old back injury, I would have been scared of heights of course and I probably wouldn't have made this vlog for you. So I honestly believe that the magic happens when you face the unknown with an open mind. 
it's really a powerful act of self-love. I'm curious about your experience with challenging your fears. Have you ever confronted a fear that once seemed incredibly challenging to face? I would love to hear your stories, so please share them with me in the comment section. I think it's not as fast paced, it's just we keep on running up and down. Yeah. I think we... Because <laughs> we're like doing pictures and we're running. <laughs> Uh, we need to catch up and just slow down. As we climbed up the hill, I realized that what really drives people during hikes like this is the sense of satisfaction they feel when they reach the top. And then it hit me. Sometimes we get so focused on reaching our goal that we forget to enjoy the journey itself and find the joy in the actual process. So I started paying attention to all the small details, taking my time and appreciating every step of the way. If you can, try not to wait for achievement to bring you joy in the journey. After all, happiness is a choice and a good choice. I still believe that it's important to set your goals and it doesn't matter how big or small your goals are. Whether it's completing a project, hiking or simply getting out of bed. Sometimes the smallest tasks can seem like a real milestone. The trick is to take one little step at a time, breathe through it all and think of the possibilities. Guys, we have, we have quite a bit to go still. And it's a bit slippery so make sure you have your hiking shoes on. <laughs> ah. oh. Well, look at this. <laughs> That's why it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. These are the top of berries. If you squeeze on the beans, you see the very slip on the inside of it. When the bean is like this, it still doesn't taste or smell like coffee. Mm -hmm. Then the highest point is mm -hmm. the peak. Like 7,404 feet. Way up. Where are we going to 5,000 feet today? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Damien in the mountain, you know? No problem. So you live here? Yeah, yeah, I live here. It's, it's awesome to live here. Yeah, yeah. But I live lower now. Right. I used to, my parents used to live high, like 4,000 feet, but yeah. we move. We go like, go like 900 feet. Yeah. yeah. Still, you know? We know all these mountains. And we ride dirt yeah. bikes too, so sometimes, you know? Yeah. We do dirt biking through the mountain. All the way to the peak. Wow. You like it? Enjoying the scene, you know? All right, guys, we are getting higher. Check this out. Yeah, don't mind me dripping sweat. Uh, means I'm working hard. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Try to juice water. My hands are so sweaty, I can't even open the lid. <laughs> Why? So this right here, yeah? three tomatoes right. and corn. Yeah, those wow. things on the tree are three tomatoes, are French tomatoes, and those are corn. Wow. 
Yeah. Up here. So wow. These coins are not the one that you give your KFC. <laughs> no? <laughs> <Yeah>. No? <laughs> this one is the organic type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Wow. Now, who, who is it? <laughs> He's trying to beat the track. <laughs> Guys, can you believe that Jada is literally right at the front of this hike? <laughs> yeah, not kidding. Yeah. All right, it's getting steep now. Okay. It's getting a little bit more flat guys and it's starting to rain which I don't mind because <laughs> it's gonna cool us down <laughs> and as you said the atmosphere is a little bit changing slowly it's, feel it yeah I love it you can feel a tiny bit of breeze <laughs> which is perfect for the hike Me, when I see stuff like that, do a long, get right. What is stuff that? You see? Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. This is just stunning for me. Nature taking over, huh? Right. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just kind of, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on this one, guys. I don't think there is a need. Yeah. This is like another level. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> wow, look at this scenery. guys little bit stop now if you share my love for Jamaica and you are tired of the negative narrative and maybe like me you want the world to see how beautiful Jamaica really is then press that like button for us and share this video with your family and friends Now guys, for nature lovers, <laughs> this hike, it's a paradise. I, I am overwhelmed with the flora and fauna of this place. The vegetation, I feel like I'm in some movie guys, like in a movie, <laughs> kind of am, but honestly, I wish we could do this hike really really slowly although we are doing it quite slow because we are slowing everybody down I think not because we are not fit or anything it's just because we want to take pictures everywhere <laughs> and record everything for you guys you see and uh, but I like to um, you know if I could I would just like sit down every here every now and then and just absorb the beauty of this place because it's truly magnificent guys look at this look at this drop behind me and the mountains it's just stunning yeah 
What is it? Sorry? No, no, I'm what is that? Mulberry. Oh, try. that's a mulberry, yeah. Have a look. Is it from the tree? Not right. Straight well, from the finished. tree. I saw that. Fresh. Yes. Fresh. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Whoa. Steep, all right? Slippy. <laughs> yeah. Watch it coming down. All right. <laughs> uh, steep, all right? Yep. You still start from the bamboo. So what? Okay. Where on the side? Yeah, in the middle, are you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, the stick really helps, actually. Yeah, man, the stick will help. Really helps. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, this is where you're careful. Make sure you use your walking stick. It's just like your slip. Okay. How, how, how much have we done so far? You can say halfway. Oh, because we're at the plantation. Halfway? Yeah, actually. Oh. We're almost finished. We, we did more than halfway because let me show you. We really? I'm so happy. I mean, happy. Happy that, uh, that it wasn't that hard. So, yeah, okay. Once we finish down there, mm -hmm. that's the hardest part. Really? So, we've done the hard bit already? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but it's done further. The defense. Uh huh. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. 1800s. I love that. This is so awesome. Wow. Mm hmm. beat the track don't you See? you just want to beat the track don't you yes. what are you doing really good <laughs> yeah We're going somewhere there, so we're not yeah, that far. So, that really so we've done the hard part. If you look close, you can see the bus. Oh, I can see the bus, yeah. Yeah, so it's going all the way around there. You come back and pick us up. Awesome. Yeah, so up there is called the whole tavern estate. So that guy pro processes coffee mm -hmm. and sell it to England. Yeah. yeah, because he, he picked out the bean and put it in different categories. You have the hay bean, the bee bean, mm -hmm. sea bean. Yeah. Your hair being is the best. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Straight from my house. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, even a little solar panel on the top. Go on. Man, I should, I should, because I should the plant is, plantation is so big, yeah. they go and take person to work for the plantation. Look at that. I feel like because we are hiking and looking down a lot, it's, all, it's very easy to miss everything if you just concentrate on the on the on the walk on the hike. You have to, I suppose, but you yam? have to stop every now and then and Can just yam? yam. Yeah. This is yam. Yeah, this part right here. We're getting closer to the sun, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can feel the sun. Uh, wow, it's getting hot. They have to get this liquid steel right here, 
out of the pod to get it parched. You can take a look at it. They will parch it. And when they get it parched, they will put it in the mortars and pesters and they will beat in it to get the oil from it. And then they squeeze it to get all the, the castor oil. And castor oil is what people use in their hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they use it a lot in England. We and use, the next we use oil, it. <laughs> we use it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know what happiness looks like? Check this out. Yeah. That's happiness to me. Guys, at this point, I just wanted to say that if you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing, liking, and hiking with us. <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure you switch on that notification bell so you don't miss any of these happy places we share. <sighs> I shall go back to my hike. Just a tiny little bit of you. <laughs> This is a happiness laughter. <laughs> yeah, definitely I'm happy. All right. Jane is up there. Well done. Guess what? It's almost done. <laughs> so, I'm proud of us. <laughs> wow, we completed it almost. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Okay, Yaka Road and the Yaka Trail. Ah. So this is what we've done? Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Alright. Now we're back on the main. Now we're back on the main. You heard the man? Yeah, we're back that on the main. That man, big him up. <laughs> He's been with me, with us every step of the way. So it's big up Douglas guys. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Yeah man. All right, guys. We made it. We made it last, but you know, we stopped like a million times to take pictures and videos. But it was all worth it. Look at that beauty right behind us. Absolutely stunning. Just looking at this, I can tell you guys, it was all worth it. Obviously, I'm sweating like a pig, but hey, I'm happy. And that's the most important so yeah well done to all of us we completed the hike but the day wasn't over as yet in fact we were only halfway through our day can you believe that it was time for our lunch and of course some more blue mountain coffee I think Blue Mountain Excursion is a beautiful experience for pretty much anyone who loves nature. But what about the hike itself? Well, firstly, make sure to wear comfortable hiking shoes, alright? 
If your fitness level is very low, it might be a good idea to bike down or even just take the bus up the mountain. You don't need to worry about food, but make sure to walk with plenty of water, especially on a hot day. Hi right, guys, they're calling me up. They so I don't want to go yet, but apparently we're going to another spot. So this is, you know, lunch done, little break, and we're going to another spot. I don't know what's happening. I think there's some swimming involved. So hey, stick around for that. <laughs> my lovely viewers please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video stay tuned for part two of this episode where i will be swimming in the river with some very special ladies thank you so much for watching keep hiking keep smiling keep facing your fears and i'll see you in the next one bye for now